I'm Stephen Atchler from Shore Agents, your offshore staffing solution located in the Philippines. And I'm your host on this show of the Offshore 101. And I've got my trusty cameraman here, Nico. Say hello. <laughs> he was too shy to come on, I asked him, but he, he's scared. Um, today, uh, Kevin, he was on the last episode when we were talking about the basics uh, of the lease renewal and just some of the tasks you can offshore and you can't offshore. Um, he's no longer with us. I mean, he's still around, of course, but he's not with us on the show today. He's busy off doing other things and his goal of making himself redundant um, is now a successful one. Um, so I'm gonna carry off on today's show and we're going to talk, just extend a little bit from the basics, which was how to identify what tasks you can outsource, what tasks you shouldn't. And we touched briefly on the lease renewal and a workflow that um, Nico will bring up the graphic here from last time. So what we're gonna do with that workflow is continue on through that and just simply look at where there will be a blockage where you definitely have to get your property manager involved essentially. So today you're gonna to learn that probably 95% of the tasks probably can be outsourced in this lease renewal workflow. So when we think about the start of the lease renewal, uh, every two months we look into advance, we look at all the lease renewals that are out there. Um, and then essentially we're gonna identify the ones that leases are up for renewal, and we've got to initiate the process. So there's only really a couple of things that can happen in this process. You've got your landlord on one side, you've got your tenant on the other. So your landlord may come back to you when you initiate the lease renewal, and that can be done via email. And we're gonna talk about some other cool ways we can automate that as well uh, quite shortly in other episodes. But the landlord's either gonna tell you, yes, renew, no, vacate, or you know what, I'm thinking about selling. Um, the tenant has only got two options. They're either going to talk about, yes, I wanna stay, I wanna renew, or you know what, I'm out of here, I wanna vacate. So the only way this process continues is if they both renew um, and say, yes, let's do it. Then you're going to enter into a point where somebody has got to talk to the landlord about terms and price and then make an offering to the tenant. Um, this is something that's a little bit too complex to start with. So when you're making that column of what's on whatever side, so you've got PM or you've got VA, uh, this one should definitely stay with the PM. So creating a CMA and working out rental prices, basic CMA, yes, can be done, uh, but knowing the intricate details of the market is a little bit too hard for someone sitting over here in the Philippines. So if I ask Nico about properties in Australia, uh, he's probably not gonna have too much, too much idea. Um, so that process needs to be done by the PM, come up with a price, speak to the landlord about terms. Once they get to that, make an offering to the tenant. Um, tenant accepts the terms, then a lease, a new lease is recreated and sent to the tenant. Uh, so the only part that really the PM needs to get involved is just that conversation and negotiating terms. If the tenant accepts those terms, the VA kicks off again, new lease is created, and they can do that on something online like DocuSign or I Agree, um, which we'll be talking more about process, streamlining, automation, how to combine the VA with some of these tools to even further imp uh, improve efficiencies in the office. So essentially, lease goes to tenant and then it just hits the follow-up. Uh, so your VA over here can make the phone call via VoIP or Skype or email or text, whatever method you decide if it's VoIP, um, yeah, they're, they're very pleasant to speak to, great accent, neutral tone, um, so very good at customer service as well. So it's not an issue to get them on the phones um, and start to chase the tenant because a phone call does work better than, than a message or an email. Um, once that lease comes back, gets downloaded and everything gets entered into the trust account program, whether it's property me, property tree, all of those things get done by the VA and the process is essentially closed. Um, so it's a pretty easy one start to finish and there's only really one conversation or one or two conversations at most that your PM can do. So if you can imagine now how much more free time they can have to go and over service landlords and um, show properties and do routines, do the physical things, it's just 
amazing. Um, so that's the basics of this uh, lease renewal process. Now, if you want a copy of our lease renewal process, just head over to our website, sureagents.com, and just hit the contact us, send a message, just request it, and look, I'm happy to flick that over. Uh, what you'll notice in there as well is it's actually got some little references to some different online tools and some automation. So next week, uh, we'll be discussing that. It's a little bit more exciting and a bit more sexy um, on yeah, than, than the basics of the, the workflow. So that's next week. Um, I'm Stephen Atchler, and this is Offshore 101.